Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 video and guys if you don't recognize this formation This is something that was very very prominent in Madden 15 guys This is the formation that you could run PA end around in uh, PA end around obviously one of the more overpowered plays from Madden 15 and Yes, they actually did EA actually did go in and fix this play or so we thought what they did was they made it so that you couldn't audible your receivers out of this formation or out of this play, specifically out of the uh, PA end around play. And that made it so that you couldn't send your circle wide receiver here on a streak. But we'll take a look here. Watch what happens with my circle wide receiver, which is my far outside wide receiver there on the right, Jordy Nelson. Take a look. There you go. Send it on, out on a streak. And we've got X wide open for the touchdown. Very, very simple. This is against a cover three defense, a very common defense that you will see online. And it works just about every single time. This play is extremely overpowered, was last year, and it will be again this year as soon as people see just how ridiculous this thing is again. So basically, here's the deal, guys. Uh, this is how the play is supposed to work. Basically, what's supposed to happen here is that your circle wide receiver is supposed to go around and get a fake end around. So let's show exactly what happens here. They're supposed to go around and get that. And then you can see there, they actually converge on X. And that makes it very difficult. I'm going to break the tackle there and run out of bounds. But all right. So you can see there, my circle wide receiver went around and then he wasn't really able to do anything because, you know, he didn't go out for a route. So one more time. There he goes. And we got nothing really. We got an underneath pass. So against that formation, it or against that specific defense, cover three, it really doesn't work very well. But we can glitch the game and make it so that Jordy Nelson can go on a streak. And guys, I'm not doing this because I want you guys to go out here and do this. Please don't do this. I, I'm not making the video as a tutorial on why you should do it. What I'm saying is that this has to be fixed. And that's the reason that I'm making this video. I'm not somebody that likes to glitch the game. I don't think it's a fun way of playing, and I don't think it's legitimate. But this can be done in Madden again this year. So here's what we're going to do. How to do it. If you need to do it for whatever reason, if, or if you just want to practice or whatever, I don't care. All right, here's how it's done. What we're going to do is we're going to press square, and then we're going to change formation. So using the left or right button on our D-pad, we're going to choose a different formation. We're going to go to single back doubles, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, so they're going to go out there, and now once they're out there, we can press square again, and then we can reset the play, which is going to bring us back into PA end around. And once we've done that, we can actually audible our receivers again. So I press triangle, circle, up, and there's Jordy Nelson going on the streak. Simple as that. We can also send other receivers on different routes if we want to. Uh, Andrew Corliss there on a slant pattern over the middle. And something is going to be pretty much wide open every single time. There it is again. That X route is so deadly out of this formation. Um, and, and I know a lot of people are going to say the PA end around play this year isn't as good because your quarterback is going to fake that, um, that end around no matter what you do. But let's take a look here again because I'm going to show you guys it doesn't necessarily have to be that way either. So we change it again to single back doubles or whatever. The square route here, watch uh, when, I, when I show it. Um, We'll switch it back here. So this square route last year was extremely overpowered. It was almost unstoppable. Uh, there were most of the plays that you would choose defensively really couldn't defend that. You pretty much had to manually cover it. So again, what they did this year was they kind of made that route not as powerful if, as far as I've seen anyway. So you can see there it's kind of a little bit better defended. They did make the tackle there. Um, but... One of the big things there was that your quarterback still goes through the motions of trying to fake a handoff, but he won't necessarily do that if we if we fix one thing here. So we're going to do it one more time. I'm going to show you guys just real quickly that you don't have to have them fake that end around. Um, so we're going to go back. Excuse me. There we go. Send Nelson on the streak again. And what we're going to do, because what he's actually doing is he's now faking the handoff to Eddie Lacy instead of to Jordy Nelson. So then is we're just going to change Eddie Lacy's route a little bit. Instead of him going, uh, doing that little angle that he's doing, we're just going to send him on the uh, triangle and then right up, uh, up on your right joystick route, which is basically a, a, a fly pattern. Uh, but out of the backfield, it looks like this. 
So then Aaron Rodgers is no longer going to do that fake handoff. He's just going to step back and boom, we can throw it whenever we want. There it is. Easy peasy. Very, very difficult to defend that route. This is on all pro. So it's not on all Madden, but still, even against the uh, against somebody who is very good at Madden, that route is extremely difficult to defend. And obviously we've seen that the X route is very difficult to defend. The circle route in this game is pretty much the aggressive catch route. So if you want to throw up an aggressive catch to Jordy Nelson, you can do that out of here. And then you've got the safe underneath route with Eddie Lacy, the triangle route. So once again, guys, this play is extremely overpowered, very, very difficult to defend. And once you've figured out how to glitch the game and make it so that you can send your receivers in audibles, there you go. Pretty much breaks the game once again, guys. So <laughs> unfortunately, EA is going to have to go in and fix this. Hopefully they do sometime soon because it's very, very frustrating that it's already being fixed or it's already being figured out and not fixed yet. And we're what, a week into having the game? Unbelievable. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Please don't dislike the video because I'm showing something broken. Again, guys, I'm doing this so that we can get it exposed. You will not see me running this in my videos. You will not see me running it on stream. Unless I get super pissed off, then I might do it from time to time. But this will not be a base play of my offense, despite the fact that, like I showed you, it is extremely difficult to defend. So anyway, guys... Hopefully you guys will tweet this at EA and we can maybe get this fixed sometime soon. I don't know what they have to do to fix it, but something definitely has to be done. So thank you guys again and I'll talk to you again soon.